welcome back to my channel vlogsters what I thought I'd do today is to show you some more spring cleaning or more cleaning with limitations obviously having a helper bonus but these are things that you can do <laughs> these are things that you can do in stages if you don't have a helper so one spring cleaning thing we're gonna do is cleaning the lampshades and I know that sounds crazy lampshades are lampshades just throw them out but lampshades especially ones covered in fabric whether you covered them yourself or bought them that way do get dust on them so let me see if I can't show you the dust yeah it's not really coming up on the camera a little bit um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two stages now you may or may not have one of these which is fine I want to show you if you don't have one of these what is this is this like one of those sticky buddies but what it's got um, silicone fingers on the end they have silicone cap brushes that they sell sometimes at the dollar store, sometimes at Walmart, which you could use. But I want to show you a trick in case you don't have either. Um, if you have a remote control, <laughs> I know, with rubbery fingers, like rubbery buttons, it actually works like the same. So what you want to do is, I'm going to show you how it does work. Let me show you how it works. See, it works to take off the dust um, but what the whole purpose of and there's dust on there now the purpose of it is to um, two stages we brush the dust down loosen it basically and this isn't necessarily a step you have to do everywhere we have a smoker in the house so there's nicotine sometimes the nicotine works to like hold the dust almost like glue like same with the dust in your kitchen when you have like grease and dust it makes like paste almost um, yeah. and our we do have like a pretty open floor plan so um, this dust happens to be kind of sticky um, you may not have to do this at all you may just be able to take your vacuum with the brush attachment on it and vacuum it away a um, couple of things to be very careful of most lampshades are lined in plastic you don't want to crack your plastic because then they'll have like a the light will come through the crack um, and the other thing is if you have stains on it you might want to use like a stain wipe uh, like a shot wipe if it's objectionable to you um, otherwise we have a video on our ch other channel that shows you how to recover it with fabric so um, let's get to cleaning and I'll show you how that's gonna go Now, one tip I didn't even think to mention before is I like to start at the seam. <laughs> the reason I start at the seam is because I know when I'm done. I, um, after a while of staring at a dusty lampshade, you're not really sure if you're still staring at dust. Not that, that sounds silly, but it's the truth. That's it. If my assistant will be so kind to rinse this, um, if you ever see these sticky buddies, they're basically basically like a silicone thing that you can rinse and they pick up dust. This one's fairly good, but I really just use it for the rubber fingers. And then this one has a sleeve that goes back in when it's done. Which now that I look at it, the sleeve's kind of dirty. <laughs> Do you have a paper towel and wipe and wipe while you wash this for me? Bring over the cleaner and the paper towel. Thank you. 
Hook the ring. I just thought you could put it down. So there's a different couple of different ways I like to clean the lamp. If it, if again, if when it was just me and Jim and the cat, um, we used to have a cat. Uh, we would just now I can tilt you up. When it was just me and Jim and the cat, we would just dust. Um, but now that we live with mom and our setup is a little different here, um, I wet dust. So um, we used to use a Swiffer duster, which I still do use a Swiffer duster, but when I would dry dust, I would use a Swiffer duster. Sometimes the Swiffer dusters used to come with like, you put a little cleaner on there to add like wet dust. That works too. But for this, um, I start, you start at the top on the flat surfaces. Oh, my silicone thingy didn't work. I mean, it worked, but I pulled it down. I'll, I'll get it when I'm done. And then go top to bottom, round and round. Just about there, I fold over, create the new wet surface that's dry of dust. Now these lamps I've had uh, for quite some years. They were with me over at uh, 481. friends is how you do that. You also want to make sure that you get your um, your finial or final, depends on who you talk to, uh, your finial. Um, and then Martha Stewart taught us to always dry dust your light bulbs during spring and winter cleaning. <sighs> okay. And then let's see, I can put the lampshade back on for you. Back in uh, New York, I had these really cute finials that were bird shaped before I got these lamps. My dad had these blue ginger jar lamps that we found. We got gifted but to us. So I bought new lampshades for them and I had these cute little bird finials on them. They were very cute. I'm sure I got them at a catalog or Shane's or something. Okay, so depending on exactly where you want your lamp to be and how you want your lamp to be, I usually put the seam over the cord. That's just me. Usually your cord is towards the back of your table. Um, so there we have it. Perfectly brand new clean lamp. And I dropped my charging tower. I took my charging tower that I got at Target. If you've been around that long, you remember it. <laughs> I put some double sticky tape and a little piece of like um, a non-skid mat on the bottom just to keep it from falling off as easily as it was before. And it actually works really well. I just happened to knock it over with the lamp. This is a Dyson Animal V6, V.6 V. or something. Um, and it has like a drop down chamber that you like shake out the dust. Over. But stuff often gets stuck on that air filter there. My favorite thing to use, I don't have right now, is an emery board. I used to keep one here just for cleaning, but I think somebody took it. Yeah, I don't seem to have it anymore. So, I will just take my skizzer, which is flat, and just go up and clean off all of that. I know they have since improved this technology, but this is what we have. I guess vacuums like any technology, right? It improves over time. If I had to review it, review it, my only criticisms over time would be this and that the chamber is very small. So you have to empty it often. But that's really just what keeps it efficient. I think that part of that is what keeps it efficient, that you have to change it. You have to 
empty it off it. That and the battery life. Um, it's like you don't mind having to change it as often, but the battery life is like... Baby, are you done? You taking a break? Okay. He's taking a break. I'm gonna dust my printer. does come apart rather easily normally so if you want to get up in here there we go. so if you want to get up in here this area here if you just keep pushing down the red button now I normally have a, a, a stippling paintbrush that's just me being an idiot um, to clean this with, but being lazy today. I'm just gonna use my fingers and then I'll wash my hands when I'm done. <laughs> and really it assembles back together very easily goes in here and then pushes up. Oh, goes in here in the front and then pushes up. Push down the trigger all the way, snap it up. Oh, there you go. You have to have it lined up or it won't work. Bonus. is cleaning and dusting your lips 2019 <laughs>